Big George was as yet unbeaten since returning to the ring in 1987. Look at the left, come up and slice it up. And Jerry Cooney's in big trouble. He's ready to go. And there he goes. In his most recent fights, he had beaten former title contender Jerry Cooney convincingly in two rounds in January 1990, before beating Mike Jameson in four in April and tough veteran Adelson Rodriguez in June. It's coming inside more than Dundee would want. He's open. There's a shot. A left hook catches him, and down goes Rodriguez. It looked almost like a grazing shot. When facing La Custa in Alberta, Canada on July 31, 1990, Foreman entered the fight ranked fourth by the WBC, seventh by the WBA and tenth by the IBF, closing to the championship fight. And Foreman's name is now part of the heavyweight championship picture. And would, oh, and right off the bat, Lacusta wobbled. Would picture in his comeback. And uh, the kind of opponent he fought uh, essentially earlier in the comeback. The fighters who come at him right now, Lacusta trying to get Foreman well, into the later rounds. But he what he does not want to face is the Muhammad Ali's of the world. At this point, uh, right on the threshold of having a fight with uh, Tyson or Holyfield or Douglas, uh, it would be uh, one of the major surprises. Foreman dominated the opening round, applying steady pressure with his signature powerful jab. Balloon, 280, 290, 300 pounds. George now working the jab and uh, look, weighing 325 pounds. Half in the championship victory over Frazier and 220 pounds against Ali, but using weight as his advantage now. He says he is never fast, never will be. He's in at uh, 261 and a half. Big, big heavyweight, heavy, and he is. The reason he's fighting so much is for those. If he didn't fight, he wouldn't be able to have those. And that was one of the active first rounds for George Foreman against George Foreman actually getting instructions from Charlie Shipes, whispering instructions in, in his ear. George Foreman, who started this comeback, uh, it's a big joke to many. And he made 1.5 million against Cooney. Yep. Lacusta came out and he tried to get the control of this fight. Right here is where George, George is dangerous. 19-inch biceps. For the Buster Douglas Tokyo fight. He has faced the likes of Trevor Burbick and Razor Ruddock. He went the distance with the Burbick, stopped by the other three. In round two, Foreman continued to dominate, using a methodical approach to break down Lacusta defense. Heavyweight speed, trying to move around Foreman. Back early where he would coast and just pick his spots, where he really picked up the intensity and the combinations, and he has picked it up early in this one. Right now, Al, George is having trouble finding the mark not able to hit the button. He should have Lacusta out of there. Foreman comes in figuring for Lacusta, saying if you want to win, you can't run, you have to fight. Most opponents who are at size disadvantage, but eventually Foreman has found everybody. He heard him with a left shot over there. George Foreman returning to Canada. Foreman floored Lacusta with a left hook early in the third round. Lacusta, matter of fact, that exhibition. And there goes Lacusta here in the third. Lacusta getting up. Oh, big right by Lacusta off the knockdown. Shakes up Foreman. And the crowd going wild. Foreman now will intensify his effort. As Foreman said before, you can take no one for granted. 
and there goes La Custa down for the second. Foreman ended the fun by putting La Custa back in his place. Hard combo sending La Custa down and this time out. Will he make it? No! It is over! La Custa goes out with a bang! It shows you he was the champion, Canadian heavyweight champion. That says a lot for a guy. Explain what was going on in your mind at this well, point. Well, he was out and uh, he just barely made it. I figured, well, let me go out here and play with him. Watch this. Boom! If they're not going to fight, I'm going out there. Whether I missed him or hit him, I'm going to throw punches because that's what the people want. That's what they pay their good prices to see. I'm not playing those games. The winner by knockout at 124 of the third round, the punching preacher, Joe Foreman! After one more KO win, Foreman was given the opportunity to challenge undisputed heavyweight champion Evander Holyfield for the world title in a pay-per-view boxing event. And almost paid the price. Oh! I think he just knocked him off balance. I don't know if he hurt him. Foreman, who weighed in at 257 pounds, surprised many by lasting the full 12 rounds, losing his challenge on points. 12 rounds of exciting action. Nobody thought they'd do it.